This is the Composer's Datebook for February 25th. I'm John Zeck. As part of its 150th anniversary celebrations, the New York Philharmonic commissioned a number of new works. One of them premiered at New York's Avery Fisher Hall on today's date in 1993. It's dedicated to the Philharmonic and their music director then, Kurt Mazur. This was the third symphony of the American composer Ellen Tafe Zwillick. It's no exaggeration to suggest that Zwillick knows the symphony orchestra from the inside out. For seven years, she was a violinist in the American Symphony Orchestra, a New York-based ensemble conducted by Leopold Stokowski when she was a player. For her third symphony, Zwillick confessed she had an often neglected section of the orchestra in mind. In an interview, she said, I'd noticed over the years the rising quality of viola playing, and I thought that the Philharmonic section was absolutely amazing. So when I had this commission, I thought almost immediately of focusing on the violas. When you think of it, many symphonies of the past are like first violin concertos with second violin and viola accompaniment. And I really wanted to put the spotlight on the viola section and give them a great deal to do, not only in terms of virtuosity, but of importance and centrality to the piece. So this symphony really grew out of my love for this section of the orchestra. Composer's Datebook is supported by T. Rowe Price, offering a strategic investing approach for their clients' investment and retirement goals. Institutions, advisors, employers, and individuals choose T. Rowe Price. For over 80 years, T. Rowe Price, invest with confidence. Composer's Datebook is produced by APM, American Public Media, and the American Composers Forum, reminding you that all music was once new.